Hi guys, today I am reviewing the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I am doing a tutorial. So if you stay tuned to the end of this video, there will be a tutorial following with the look that I am wearing now. So stay tuned. Thank you. Like it's really cute though. It comes with this on the back and what it says, it says creating this palette has become a dream come true for me. Morphe has given me free creative control and allowed me to customize my dream palette for everyone. Every shade was customized by me and I really hope you guys love it as much as I do. I want a range of neutrals and pops of color to accustom all skin tints. I put my heart and soul into this palette and hope my pickiness pays off. XOX Jacqueline. So it just has a picture of her on the back and then it just, you probably can't really see this with my lighting. It's just what it says. And then on closer inspection, if we open it up, we get, this is what it looks like. You can't, probably really can't see with my light just being the way that it is, but I'm going to try to pull back a little bit. Yeah, that works. Well, that's what the outside and then the back of it just has, it's just a really pretty packaging, honestly. I think it is like silver and like white. I think it's beautiful. Well, this is just what the inside looks like. Like you've got all these beautiful colors. These are some of my favorite colors at the top right here. And the color payoff in this is really good. Some of these are. Some of them I get are a little bit chalky, like... Uh, some of the mattes are, but I think the ones with like the shimmer in them, they are pretty good quality, I think. So I had to turn down the brightness of my thing because my thing started getting like all messed up. Well, anyway, well, in some beauty gurus' reviews, I saw that they said that it did not come with this. Like that they thought that it was just P for PR. Well, mine came in the box with the palette like this, and it just names off all of the colors and everything, and then it comes with just... It's just what the front of the card looks like. But I don't know if maybe the ones that they bought, like, for some reason they just didn't come in that. But mine definitely came with that. And let me just get into started. Okay. So, I honestly think, I have honestly been using this palette since I got it. Like, about every day. Like, whenever I went to work, when I went out with friends, like, I've been using it, like, nonstop. Like, I am so in love with this palette. Like, I love it so much. Um, I think that there's some really pretty colors. I'll swatch a little bit for you. These, you probably cannot even see them. My camera sucks. But, like, if you can see them against my, you probably can't even see them against my tattoo. But, it comes with some really pretty colors. Now, today, I'm actually wearing, in my inner corners, I am wearing this color, which is Beam. And I think this color is just so gorgeous beautiful to put on your lid and then use a couple of these brown shades like these brown pinky shades or orangey shades but honestly overall I am obsessed with this palette I love it now I have found some of them like I said for the chalky colors on the palette some of them can be a little chalky look a little chalky in the eyes but the ones so far there's not very many in here that are chalky like the a lot of the matte like I've noticed some of the mattes are but if you work with them, I'm sure you can get them to look like the way that you want them to because I have. Now, I've noticed, like, to make the shimmers intense, like, you can wet your brush. Like, I did that, and it turned out amazing. But anyway, for an overall view of this, I give this um, palette a, from 0 to 5, I give it a 5 because I am in love with this palette. Like, if you guys don't have it, I think you should get it. I bought it when it first came out. I know it's sold out right now. It should, eventually it should be back in stock. I bought it the day that it had just launched. And I was in line, like, on, like, there was a line online to get it. Like, it took me forever to get through. And when I bought it, I also bought some brushes. Like, these aren't the, I don't know if these are any of the Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush collection. But I got the Morphe E17. And then I got the Morphe G20. And I got the Morphe 504 blending brush. And these are just the brushes that I use today on this look. But I just wanted to give you guys a look. Like, I am totally loving this palette. If you don't have this palette, like, as soon as it comes out, I recommend you buy it. Because I've been using it for about every day. Like, it's my favorite go-to palette now. My favorite everyday palette. Like, I'm obsessed. I love it. So thank you guys for watching. I know this was a short intro and everything. I know it was like a short intro and a short video. Well, it probably won't be short when I add the tutorial in with it though. But it, guys, stay tuned for the end of this video because I will have my the tutorial on the look that I am wearing from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And like I said, if you guys don't have this palette, I recommend that you get it as soon as it comes back in stock. And I am totally obsessed. 
and I think the little, I think the packaging, I give the packaging, I think it's a great five, maybe four, because it is cardboard, and it does stain up, like, your fingers can touch it, like, there is stains on mine now from, like, the makeup, like, you can see, but, like, other than that, like, I mean, I, I can see, like, where it, the packaging can get kind of messy, but other than that, I think it's a beautiful palette, and I think it's an awesome, like, everyday palette, any day. Like, you can create dramatic looks, everyday looks, like, party looks, like, whatever you want. It's just, I think it's overall, overall a, be a great palette. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and stay tuned for the tutorial at the end. Thank you guys, bye! And right here I'm just using my Urban Decay Naked Foundation in 0 0.5 shade with a Pure Cosmetics oval foundation brush and then I'm using the Lorac behind the scenes eyeshadow primer and I'm just priming my eyes and then I am using the Maybelline fit me blush in pink rose in 25 with the elf complex elf complexion brush and then I am going to be digging into the and then I am taking the color from the Jaclyn Hill palette silk cream with an 504 brush into my crease and just all over blending with this brush and then I'm taking again an E17 brush into the color pooter and I'm just using this on my outer crease and my outer V and just blending that in and then I'm using the G2 brush to apply a beam to my inner corners and just downwards and just blending that a little bit into and then I am using the color Faint, and I am using that same G2 brush to just rub that all over my lid and blend it into the beam a little bit. And there we have it with that one. Just blending, just putting it on, sweeping it across my lid. And then I'm going to go back in with that M504 brush and just clean up any mess that is left over and blend it all in together. And here I'm using the Last Sensational Maybelline Mascara. That's just the mascara I'm using. Just using it on my la lower lash line too. And then I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in Inclair. And there we have it. Thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for another video.